Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and for today's video, I thought it'd be pretty interesting because WWE posted their own version of their top 10 matches of 2017 so far. So yeah, we're almost, you know, at that halfway mark for uh, 2017, uh, you know, coming to an end or whatever. We're at the halfway point, and we've seen some pretty awesome, awesome matches in the WWE and they did the top 10 on WWE.com, and I liked it because, honestly, I felt like the 5 through 1 is pretty good. Now, 10 through 6, I'm a little iffy about, but I I'm glad they included most of the matches that were on there, and I'll, I'll talk about why. So, uh, I just want to say, I don't know what I'm going to title this video, and I hope it's not misleading, but uh, this is not my top 10 of 2017, you know, WWE matches. This is WWE.com. They're, they post an article of this, so this has nothing to do with what I think. Uh, but I thought it'd be cool if we run down the list, we talk about it. And then in the comment section down below, you could tell me, you know, do you agree, do you disagree, what would your top 10 be, um, and let me know. I would do my own top 10, but that would just take too long because I'm so picky with all this stuff. But let's get right into it. Again, this is WWE.com. Number 10, they have a match on Raw, uh, March 6th. It is Neville versus Rich Swan for the Cruiserweight Championship match. I don't remember this match at all and I didn't rate it because it wasn't a main event. I've only rated matches that are main events or pay-per-views. Uh, but I don't really like remember like a like a really fun cruiserweight match on Raw. I honestly don't remember this match at all, but I I don't know why they put that match on there though. Number 9 is the Money in the Bank match, the Women's Money in the Bank match from SmackDown June 27th. So, few things here. One, I don't think this should be on the mat on this this list just because I didn't think that Money in the Bank match was that good. I still have yet to see the pay per view match, but I think it's kind of sad because the pay per view Money in the Bank ladder match, the women's one, isn't even on this list. But the one that was on SmackDown is. I don't know. I uh, but I I wouldn't put that anywhere near. It's I wouldn't even put that like top. You know whatever for Money in the Bank ladder matches. Um, next, number 8, we have uh, 205 Live. I wish I watched 205 Live, but I don't. All the way back February 7th, it was Jack Gallagher versus TJP versus Cedric Alexander versus Noam Dar versus Mustafa Ali in a fatal five-way elimination match. That would be the number one contendership for the Cruiserweight Championship. Wow, that was a mouthful. I remember seeing GIFs and videos of this match, and it looked pretty crazy. So maybe I should go back and watch this match, but that made it number 8. Um, and I haven't seen a single match on 205 Live. I'm sorry to say, I have not watched one episode of it. Let me know, is it worth it? I don't think it is. I think many people don't watch it, to be honest. But number seven, this match I actually remember. Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns on Raw May 29th in the main event. And I, I rated this pretty high. I had it at three and a half stars. Uh, and high for me, I guess. I don't know. But I really enjoyed this match. I think they are great. Roman Reigns won, though, sadly. And I remember being disappointed with that. But I remember it being an awesome, awesome match. Number six, we have Big Show versus Braun Strowman, February 20th. I did rate this as well. And I'm not saying it was a bad match because I really, really did enjoy this. But I'm very surprised they didn't put the match where they broke the ring. When they broke the ring, that was in April, I think. But this is the first match on February. So, and I think Braun, Tra Braun Strowman just won, like, just did the power slam. And that's how he beat Big Show. Uh, but it's an awesome match. But I think if if I had either of the matches on, uh, on a top 10 list, I probably would have put the one where they broke the ring. But uh, that's just me. Number five, we have Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles from WrestleMania. And I am really, really happy this is on here. And it's the WrestleMania match. Uh, it's the only WrestleMania match on this list. And I'm actually pretty, pretty okay with that. Because maybe, I don't think a lot of people agree with this. So I might, you know, people might get mad about this or whatever. But I thought that was the best match from WrestleMania. That's the one match I would definitely go back and watch again. Um, I, I think, you know, uh, Reigns versus Undertaker was great, uh, you know, uh, Rollins versus Triple H was a lot of people's favorites, but Shaming Man versus AJ Styles, the opener, was definitely my favorite, and I love this match. I had it at four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Number four, they put Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins versus The Miz in a triple threat Intercontinental Championship number one contenders match. That was a really fun match, too. I had that at three and a half, I think, as well. That was just really, really fun. It was for the Intercontinental Championship contender, so it wasn't even like a big title, but I remember really enjoying the match. Number three, AJ Styles versus John Cena at the Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship match. This match was freaking awesome as well. Um, this would probably be my 
my favorite match in WWE so far of 2015. It's number three here, which is pretty crazy, but I really, really love that match. I think I had four, or maybe four and like one fourth, but it was an awesome match. Number two, The Authors of Pain versus DIY versus The Revival, Triple Threat, NXT Tag Team Championship, Elimination Match. Awesome, awesome match. They can do no wrong. Tag Team Wrestling in NXT is so freaking good. I wish it would transfer to the main roster. But that's a, that's a good number two. I, I, yeah, I'd probably have that. Either like four, three, two, probably. And number one, shockingly, they had Tyler Bate versus Pete Dunne for the UK Championship. I don't say shockingly because it was like a bad match. Because it wasn't. It was an awesome, awesome match. But I'm just surprised that WWE put that at number one. I would think for sure they'd put like a John Cena match. Or Roman Reigns even, you know? So that's really awesome that they put that at number one. I would probably put that like a number two or three for me personally. I love that match. I don't want to say it was overhyped or like overrated because it was an awesome, awesome, fun match and I love going back and watching it. But I don't know. I just I think they could do even more crazy stuff. It was an, if it was like a main event of a an NXT takeover or something, I think they could even do even more insane stuff. So that's my opinions for the top ten. I think it's a great top ten. Five through one, I think is great. Ten through six could use a little work, but. Let me know your thoughts on all this. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 rocks. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do videos. Uh, schedule has been really, really busy, but I hope as we transition more and more into summer that I, I start doing daily videos. So thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great day.